Hello beautiful beings, I'm back with another video today. Um, right now I'm going to show y'all a um, the finished look of my salon suite. Um, I just want to give y'all a quick update. This is me just putting some a few things inside of the salon suite, just um, adding a few touches to it. But I did just want to give y'all an updated version of what my salon suite looks like. And yeah, here we go. <laughs> beautiful beings i am back with another video and as you can see i am currently setting up for another client Scoop this over that way. so yes i'm setting up for another client today is currently thursday june 2nd um i did just want to go ahead and give an intro because this is going to be a vlog um before i get started I'm going to insert some clips from earlier this week just to kind of give y'all a little bit of background of what's going on. So I will insert those clips now. Okay, y'all. So this is me actually taking clients the last weekend um, that I had my salon suite. I did not do any talking in this video. So I did just want to give y'all an idea of what was happening. Um, it was also the very first weekend that we um, did not have the kids. I did not get a lot of footage of us celebrating not having the kids because we worked majority of the weekend. As you can see, I had three clients this day. Um, the second client before this one, I didn't get a um, 
video of what I, her hair looked like at the end. But yeah, I was just mostly working that weekend. We did a little bit of shopping and we went out that evening and yeah, that was pretty much it. Okay, y'all, oh, I got a couple on my face. I just finished with my little tear fist that I had, but I am in my salon suites. I know I just literally posted my um like tour, but I am now saying goodbye to this space. <laughs> I am now saying goodbye to it. Um, that's how fast life goes, you know. Um, I was here for four months, almost four months, and yeah, it's over. Um, that's the girl who I was renting from. I don't know what was in that room. There's my room at the very back. And this was another room, somebody else, with the little area, the little station um where they kept like a fridge and stuff like that the bathroom's there she has to i don't know if she's gonna paint that or not i don't think she's gonna paint that i don't know what this not i don't know this is the lobby area and this is it this is it i'm so emotional right now because i was just thinking about all the money i made in this place and all the opportunities i was given all the amazing clients that i gained here and it just made me a little bit emotional, but I am optimistic and I know that um, something great is coming my way and I don't know where I'm gonna end up yet, y'all. Um, I'll give y'all more of my plan in just a little bit, but I, right now I'm about to get out of here, um, give these keys back to the landlord. Uh, the girl that I'm running from told me to put them in his mailbox next door, so I'm just gonna leave them for him. Get the trash together and be out of here. I think I'm going to grab me something to eat before I head home. Um, and I'll just talk to y'all maybe when I grab food or something. I don't know. But, yeah, I'll check in with y'all in just a bit. All right. So, as y'all can see, I have had to move out of my salon suite. And, um, yeah, that was my last little wrap-up video. As I was getting my things and moving out of there, I did just finish moving. Not now, but that day. That was on Tuesday, May 31st. So, yeah, I had to move all my stuff out of there. Um, I did have a client earlier that, well, two clients, no, three clients earlier that day. So, I definitely uh, used my salon suite to the very last second. And then when I finished my last client, I moved all my things out. And, yeah. So as you can see, I am now at my apartment. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm at home technically. Um, I'm not sure if I have told y'all yet or if I've uploaded the video just yet, but we did get a house. Ooh. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. We got a house. Um, we are currently renting a house. Let me make sure I say that. We are currently renting Oh, that's my client. We're currently renting a house. Um, we moved out of our apartment because we just outgrew it. It was not enough space, and um, our lease was coming to an end, and they were going up on rent um, about $200, and my rent was already not cheap. So, one second. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, somebody was randomly FaceTiming me. I don't know who these people are. That was my business line ringing, though, but I don't know who that was. So, um, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, so we got a house, we outgrew this space, and we needed something bigger, and um, we wanted to get our money's worth for what we were paying in rent. We are not ready to buy just yet, so yeah, renting we will be doing at least for the next year. I'm thinking next two years, though, just to kind of let us get a true feel of where we want to be, because we are new here, we're not from here, so um we just want to get an idea of exactly what area we want to stay in. So that's why we're not buying just yet. And also, um, I don't know if y'all know, but for business owners, it is very, very hard to get anything. They don't give it to us easy. As easy as it does for people who have um, actual W-2 jobs. So if you are an employee and you don't have a house or you're not where you want to be at in life, make sure you keep your job until you... Um, you know, get to where you want to be at because if not, they're going to make it 10 times harder for you to get anything. <laughs> my advice for today. But yeah, I'm currently waiting on my client and setting up. Um, I am here. I literally moved all my stuff out on the 31st all by myself and came and threw it in my apartment. I can show y'all what it's looking like in here. And just to be, it is a little bit embarrassing because we 
Well, we moved out of our apartment on the, let me see, on the 9th, the 20th. We got the keys to our house on the 19th. I went over there and cleaned up. Um, as y'all will see in the video that I will upload or that is already up. Um, yeah, we got the house. But the problem that we have is that our lease for our apartment is not up until June 29th. So now we are kind of overlapping. So yeah, so we're having to pay rent two different places, which is unfortunate. It's just a lot. Life is kicking my tail right now, y'all. Life is literally kicking my tail. We have two rents to pay. My car, the brakes need to be replaced. That's $500. And then um, summer camps. I need to get Riley into summer camp, so we gotta pay for that. And <laughs> I got, you know, I have to get another salon, so that's gonna be another deposit that I gotta come up with, plus first month's rent for that. I just have too much going on in my life right now. I really have way, 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 way too much going on. I'm super thankful for, you know, business and the opportunities that I have, but I definitely, can say that I wish it was a little bit easier and not as hectic right now. Like it is so hectic. And then on my braces, something is um, like, I don't know if it's a wire or what, but it is um, scratching my lip every time I talk. So it hurts to even like talk. Um, when I eat, I can't, I gotta like eat very weird. So, and then my dinner, my orthodontist appointment is not until the 14th and it is now the second. So I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this. Yeah, life is kicking my tail for real right now. But um, my client is just a few minutes away, so I am going to go ahead and finish setting up. Oh, I said I was gonna show y'all what it looked like in here. So it is crazy. As you can see, I literally bought everything. That was my bedroom back there. There is just a bunch of junk in there and that's the kitchen and stuff. But yeah, y'all, so yeah, your girl is, my life is crazy right now. Really, really crazy. But I'm going to hurry up and finish setting this up so that hopefully when she gets here, I can just start braiding. And I guess I'll check back, check back in with y'all later. All right. Hey, y'all. So it is currently 11, 16, and I just put Cass down for sleep. Um, it's the summertime, so Cass, I mean, so I got too many kids. Ziri and Riley are still running around being them and I am I am about to um clean the kitchen so um yeah I'm gonna clean the kitchen and then take a shower and I think I want to watch a movie tonight it is kind of late and I just gotta get up early but hmm, I may start watching it tonight I'm probably gonna fall asleep on it I am currently drinking um if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I am, I like to call myself like a little bit of a wine connoisseur, um, but I drank all my wine yesterday, there's Riley, I drank all my wine yesterday, and so tonight I am drinking these little, I don't drink every night, this is just, um, but yeah, I don't drink every night, I just, um, you know, I like to have a casual drink every now and again. And so tonight I am drinking these little um, Cayman Jacks. These things are so good, y'all. I could literally drink it with my food as if it's like juice or something. But it really does like calm me down and kind of get me ready for bed. So I really, really do like it. So yeah, um, we've been buying them by like the little case. And it usually lasts us a few days um, before we've drunk them all up. But yeah. So that's what I'm doing tonight. I am about to do that now, and I guess y'all could just watch me clean up. Bye. 
to shower. Um, I'm tired. I haven't really been working, working today. I just did like, I folded some laundry and stuff like that. But that was pretty much it. And cleaned the house up a little bit. I took a nap. You know, Mondays are my off days. Although I do, I did have a client early this morning. It was such a simple appointment that I was able to come home and take a nap and get back up and just kind of chill out. So that's what I did today. Tomorrow I'm back at it. I have some knotless braids, medium knotless braids to do in the morning. And then I have a braid out, a natural braid out tomorrow evening. So yeah, it's a pretty, uh, not busy, but it's a day tomorrow that I'm going to have. My hair looks so crazy, y'all. But um, yeah, I'm about to shower. Um, I just found my exfoliating glove. Now, if you are a woman and um, you shave or you wax or whatever you do, I, I like wax. I like getting waxed, but um, you also need to do this if you shave. You need to be exfoliating your skin. You need to be exfoliating your skin. I have this glove. I also have a dry brush that I use um, to exfoliate my skin, especially the areas that I shave or get waxed, whatever. Um, because those ingrown hairs are nothing to play with. So, And it also just makes you feel soft. So if you want to feel soft, for yourself or whoever you're with or whatever, um, exfoliate your skin. You need to be exfoliating. So make sure you're doing that so that you can take care of your skin and keep it good and fresh. That's my advice for tonight. But yeah, I'm at the shower and then go to bed. So I'll probably check back in with y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, so I am currently in my car and well, clearly I'm in the car. But I am on my way to, um, I'm on my way to look at a uh, salon space. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go see what this looks like. Um, it's actually a space with my um, wax lady, the, the girl that does my wax, and she has a space. My hair looks so crazy. I literally just be going like I'm so busy these days but I just finished my client not too long ago um at eight o'clock this morning I had some knotless braids I just finished her and now I'm headed over here to go look at this space and then after I finish here I think I'm gonna grab me some lunch um do some more laundry and then get ready for my now um four o'clock appointment um she was supposed to come at six but I asked her to come early because I have nothing to do between now and then. I guess I could have like squeezed the client in, but um, I need to do laundry and I needed to come see this space. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, that's what I'm headed to do now. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to check in with y'all. Disregard my hair. Like <sighs> I'm going to do some self-care y'all. I'm going to check back in. And I'm going to do some self-care for myself. I'm here getting everybody else cute. And then I'm up here looking crazy. But yeah, I'm going to... Um, hey. I'm going to get back to taking care of me soon. But yeah, I'll check back in with y'all later. As y'all can see, um, I went and looked at the uh, spot near, I went and looked at the salon suite, and it was cute. It was it was nice. It's very, very nice. Um, it has, as you saw, the lobby area, and then you walk down the hallway, and you go into, it's two rooms right beside each other, and then in one of the rooms, it is a bathroom, and 
all of that would be my space. I am considering um, taking the space, um, heavily considering it. It is a little bit farther from my new house and I did not want to be that far, but um, I don't think I'm going to find anything else that's as, you know, that's that much space for that cheap. Internet is also included and water and lights and all that. So all I have to do is pay, is pay the flat um, rate for rent. So yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm heavily considering it. It is still located in Marietta. But it's just 20 minutes away from me. And if you know anything about Atlanta, everything is uh, 20, 30, 45 minutes away. Like nothing. If you look up and get something that's like, you know, right down the street, like you're doing good. Which like my first, the salon I just left, um, it was 10 minutes down the street from my apartment. So it was perfect. But we have to move on and find something else. So yeah, I don't know. I'm stressed. I'm not stressed. I'm, I'm going to stop claiming stress. I am, um, I'm working hard. That's what I'm doing. I'm working hard. Right now, I am at the laundromat. Baskets are there. I'm waiting on the clothes to dry because, as I told y'all, the dryer in my apartment sucks and it takes forever to dry one load of clothes. So, I just bring them to the laundromat just to dry them and go ahead and get that done. Hopefully, we'll have a washer and a dryer, though, by the end of this week. Hopefully, if everything goes as planned. So yeah, I am just gonna sit here and wait um, for the clothes to dry and I guess I'll check back in with y'all when I finish my next client. Good morning, beautiful beings. Good morning, y'all. So it is Wednesday, June 8th. I am currently um, up and headed to my appointment this morning at 8. I had a last minute booking yesterday. So, uh, yeah, I'm getting started early today. I have an 8 a.m., a 1 p.m., and then a 4 p.m. So, today is going to be a pretty busy day. As y'all saw, I did just have to run in Walgreens because um, yesterday I ran out of product. And I was thinking, oh, I don't have an appointment until 1 p.m., so I'll just be able to grab... I'll be able to grab products, um, you know, when I, I can go to the hair store before my one o'clock. Then I had this person book and while I was on my way there, I thought about, oh, I don't have product to, do, to braid her hair. So yeah, I had to run to Walgreens real quick and grab um, some products. That's not typically what I use, but it's gonna work for today. And so yeah, um, I am, I wish I could have stayed in bed, but I'm up and at it, ready to conquer it today and make it happen. You should do the same. And yeah, talk to y'all later. Hello, beautiful. So, um, currently, oh, y'all, my hair is sticking up everywhere. Hold on. Hey, y'all. So, back in the car, I just finished my first two clients. Um, I am currently rushing in true Kiana fashion. I am rushing. I was rushing this morning when I talked to y'all. I had to stop at the uh, Walgreens to get products. And then it turns out the girl didn't even need me to bring, to use the product on her. She brought her own that she preferred to use. So yeah, I didn't even have to stop. And that's my client letting me know. No, it's your thing. I brought me perfect. Because I'm running late, um, I'm having to run a quick errand real quick. And then I'm going to go back to my third client. But I'm rushing. I am a late person, y'all. I am trying to do better with being on time. But this just proves why I need my salon to be close to where I live. Because this morning, if my salon was just 10 minutes away from me, then I would have been on time. But because I'm having to drive a little ways and traffic in Atlanta is terrible. And of course, you know, it, although it is 3.30 on a summer day when school is not in, it's still traffic right now. So I'm fighting traffic, trying to run my errand on one on the other side of town, basically. So yeah, it is currently 3.30. My appointment was at four. Um, while I run this errand, I'm going to run my errand and then I am going to run by my house to pump, well, to let Cass nurse a little bit because I am feeling a little bit engorged. So 
my appointment is at four y'all and i am currently uh still a little ways away um so i asked my client can i move her up to 4 30 she just takes and said okay um at this point i'm really hoping that i can make it back before 4 30. i'm gonna make it back before 4 30. i'm gonna say i'm going to make it back before 4 30. all these landscaping services but um okay y'all so i just wanted to check in with y'all and let y'all know what's going on um i had really great appointments this morning my clients were super cool um one of my clients was a lawyer this morning or she is in law school she is on her way to becoming a lawyer and she's going into the practice of like business law so she already extended her services to me um offered to basically be my um business attorney if i need so yeah like um um that's why i say like i love being where i am because and doing what i do because it connects me with people that i don't feel like just working a traditional job i would have access to these people and i'm just super thankful i'm super super thankful and then my other client that i had i had her before she um she's come to me before but she's an actor and she landed a big role in a big show uh, not a big show but like a, a more um widely known show and so i'm so happy for her like it's just good news from so many people around me and i'm just super super happy to see everybody winning and doing well but yeah y'all so i'm gonna um go ahead and run this errand run by my house real quick and try to get back to my apartment so that i can take my last client for the day let's see if i can do it okay y'all so i am headed back to my apartment now um i went home real quick and Kaz was sleeping so i was unable to allow him to feed um i didn't want to wake him up so i guess i just have to um kind of fight through it with uh through my next client fight through the engorgement basically um while i finish my next client but yeah y'all so i'm headed on to the next client i should get there in time now it is 3 54 um i don't know why it took me so long to get over here to this side of town traffic like i said was just unreasonable today oh, okay every single car gonna come this way okay everybody's coming <laughs> i hate roundabouts i really do hate them <laughs> but yeah um yeah i'm headed back over here now to do that and i will talk to y'all later good morning it is currently friday and i am waiting on a client i'm currently custom blending this blue and this black for a client she actually requested light blue but um i cannot get light blue because i had to send um someone else to the store for me and finding a light blue was kind of out of question because i don't know you know when you send somebody else to the store it's like you don't really want to have them looking looking for real so you know it's like well this is what we found so either she's gonna go with this or she's just gonna go with straight black but either way i'm gonna go ahead and prep it um at least prep one bundle so that we can be ready currently she is running behind i think she says she's about 20 minutes behind so um yeah i'm just waiting for them to get here it's a mom actually bringing her daughter so yeah um yeah you guys friday i survived this week um i have today and tomorrow to go i don't have a client on sunday it's a few now so um i'm looking forward to my sunday break I am, I am. But yeah, I'm gonna check back in with y'all later. 
hello y'all so um i am currently headed to the store i have to get cash some food um yeah i gotta get him food because tomorrow i have an early morning client and um i have an afternoon appointment so i won't be home to um go and make sure that he or run to the store i won't be able to come back and make sure and um jamia doesn't like to travel uh, to leave the house when he got the kids by himself he says it's just too hectic so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and go to the store and get the food right now so that he have everything he needs to watch them tomorrow um i took care of my client i think the last time i talked to y'all i was prepping for my client um i did not get any pictures of her um quite frankly because she's a kid and i don't want to advertise as a kid braider um but it did come out cute it was a cute style it took me a little bit longer than what i expected it to unfortunately so i was rushing a little bit on time but i got everybody done i did get pictures of my second client though and i i think i did some braids that was so cute um i can put a picture here for y'all now if y'all want But yeah, I'm about to go in Kroger and get this food and then go back home. Um, Jamil made some fish. She fried some fish. So we eating, uh, we eating fish and fries tonight. And yeah, that's what we're doing. So yeah, I'm going to go in the store, get that, and I'll come back out. And I don't know if I'm going to talk to y'all no more tonight. But if not, then I guess I will see y'all in the morning. Like I said, I have an early morning client tomorrow, 6 a.m. And I have so many people trying to get in for tomorrow. Like, I'm taking two clients, y'all. I'm only going to take two people because your girl is tired. Although, I definitely could use taking more clients. I'm going to love on me a little bit, you know, and not do that. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and run in the store real quick. And I'll talk to y'all later. Then dip me underway. I'm currently debating with myself on if I want to get some wine or not. What y'all think? Should I get wine? It's Friday night. I mean, I do got a 6 a.m., but it's Friday night. Should I do it, y'all? Comment down below if you think I got wine or not. across the street from my house my neighborhood don't look like this i mean it's it's a nice neighborhood don't get me wrong but the houses ain't this big in my neighborhood like they are beautiful they are so beautiful but like this is the kind of stuff that i looked at on the regular and just like you know i manifested for myself like um you know i was thankful and i knew that i could be in a place like this and i know one day i am going to be in a place like this like this isn't it for me you know, um, I'm looking at these homes and I, I was just thinking like, oh man, these homes are so beautiful and I can't wait to be here. But then I immediately, you know, thought back like, you know what, let me be thankful for where I currently am because I'm currently where I need to be and I'm currently where I want it to be. So I'm gonna be thankful for where I am currently, but I'm so excited for the future. Like I'm telling you, this is, this is what I've decided to surround myself with on a daily. Like, this is what I get to wake up to in the mornings. And, you know, when I come home, I come, you know, I get to ride past things like this. Um, when I'm going to clients' homes and things like this, most of my clients have beautiful homes that I admire. So it just, it, I don't know, it just gives me, you know, a clear picture of what I want in life and where I wanna be. 
and it just helps me to you know stay on track and continue working hard um i looked at that pool over there y'all the pool over there and i was just thinking like the hoe fees over here have to be out the tail crazy like expensive because that pool is very very nice but yeah y'all so that's all i wanted <laughs> Okay, y'all, so um, it's Saturday night. Um, I'm in Zuri's room with Cass. We got letters over there. I haven't given y'all a tour of her room. She just has toys everywhere. Um, we haven't put her bed up just yet. We're um, still waiting to get her a mattress, so we haven't put it up just yet. But, um, yeah, um, I did take my two clients today that I told y'all about yesterday. Um, I was rushing again today running late and behind on clients so um but i made it work i am home now me and kaz are in zuri's room chilling riley is playing around the house zuri is taking a nap and yeah i think we're just gonna chill for the rest of the night i think that's gonna be it for this vlog um i did a lot of talking in this vlog i realized i think i'm actually gonna have to cut some of it out because Feel like i did too much talking let me know if y'all like me talking that much if y'all don't you know i realize i didn't show a lot i just talked a lot yeah <laughs> but um yeah i just wanted to come in and close the vlog and thank y'all so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed it if you have not yet be sure to subscribe to my channel and um like this video and comment down below if you did subscribe and um yeah i think that is it if nobody has told you recently just know that i love you you matter you are important you're amazing bye y'all